Greetings, Cred here. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to OberReady's new MOF speed switch. So the way that this switch is different from any light that uses a McClicky is in the fact that the speed switch is always on. So right now, no light coming out of the LEDs, but the switch is on. So the way that this works is the circuit is always being completed with the MOF speed switch. When you press the switch, you're actually breaking the circuit. So by pressing the switch, you have effectively a momentary off. So what does that look like in practice? So here's a normal McClicky. A McClicky switch is what's considered a forward clicky. Half press will get you momentary on. Fully depressing the switch will get you continuous on. This creates the circuit. Forward click, the circuit is still on let go now it's off so with the speed switch it's on right now the reason that it doesn't appear to be on is because they've introduced a new mode this is called mode zero so mode zero effectively gives you if you remember my previous videos about the new firmware where you can have eight modes mode zero is effectively a ninth mode so mode zero being off whereas mode one is whatever you've programmed it to. Another thing about mode zero, you can program it to be a locator beacon where it's going to be an extremely low drain, red or amber flash at a periodic interval to help you find the flashlight in the dark. In this particular case, mode zero is programmed to be true off. Depressing it breaks the circuit, nothing is happening. When you let go, the circuit is on. So what does this gain for us besides being a unique innovation in the flashlight world? The answer is speed and changing modes. Your ability to cycle through modes and turn the flashlight off has been dramatically increased, um, especially with the short one millimeter travel distance of the switch. So as you can see, I can cycle through all of the modes and check this out. So the way that you turn the flashlight off is by depressing the switch slightly longer than what you're currently doing in order to change modes. So this is changing modes ever so slightly longer and it's off. Some questions that I had for Dan and Tom that you may be asking right now are in regards to parasitic drain and waterproofness. So we all know that the McClicky is relatively watertight and you know, submersion is not an issue within reason. So when I asked the question, Tom did a little bit of testing and we know now that the speed switch is effectively rated to IP68. Tom tested it by submerging it at 20 feet for 10 hours and found no leak by on the switch. This should be more than ample for anyone's casual use of the light. As for parasitic drain, I was told that this light can remain in this mode zero state for easily six months without draining the battery. And given normal usage of a flashlight, you're gonna end up draining the batteries through day-to-day -day use long before that and periodically charge them. So parasitic drain should not be an issue. Thanks for watching.